What is up and welcome to one of the three dorm areas here at the South Pole. Um, this is where people live. You gotta speak a little quiet because people might be trying to sleep. But yeah, today I'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour of my room. So let's go. Ooh. 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 Um. Yeah, not quite uh, set up yet. Um, give me, give me, give me one second. Ah, all done and finished. <laughs> so, if you watch my McMurdo room tour video that I put up like a couple months ago, at least, you'll notice that this room is quite significantly smaller but obviously the big perk that you can already see is that i'm living alone here i do not have a roommate and that's that's actually something that's really nice so yeah but i figured might as well uh give you a tour so first up we've got this wall over here here you can see my door which uh, has all of my ecw clothing so the things that i wear when i go outside regularly and of course here is my lovely winter progression calendar as I cross out each individual day. Obviously, the first part of this video that you saw was filmed up here on the 15th, so it's been quite some time. But I, I really like having this calendar. It's really quite nice to visualize and be able to see where exactly we are in the winter because a lot of people, you know, we have goals and things that we'd like to accomplish throughout the course of the winter. And being able to visually see how much time is left is, is quite nice. And, you know, once we start getting a bit closer, being able to see that, that we've we've done most of it is is pretty reassuring and brings up the mood as well and then of course we have this lovely rainforesty type tapestry and then underneath it is my primary dresser with all of my clothes um, things that I wear and of course vitamins and such because you need your D vitamins and such but yeah that is this part of the room <laughs> next up we have what I think is probably the most uh, most beautiful and picturesque part of the room as you can see starting up top here with these lovely polaroids which by the way have awesome lights <laughs> but you know it's i don't know i think a lot of people don't necessarily put a ton of effort into their rooms and decorating them and such when i was here last year one of my jobs was to go into a bunch of rooms and do some basic inspections and i noticed that a lot of them were pretty decked out, kind of like this, and then there were a lot that were just completely bare. And so I think it just depends on the person. For me personally, I spend a decent amount of time in here because I'm editing and all that, and I'd really like to have a nice space, a comfortable space, where I feel, I don't know, happy and, and I don't know, it's nice to be able to look up and see all my friends, you know, even if they're not here, they're, they're friends I'm excited to see again when I get back to McMurdo on my way north. And then of course you can see here, this is a chunk of my camera gear. Obviously not all of it is here. I'm kind of missing a couple things and that is because I'm using them right now for this video. But being able to have everything kind of easy access, the most important things is pretty good. And I just, I like camera gear a lot. So being able to, being able to see it is quite awesome. <laughs> But yeah, and then next up after that, we have the actual desk portion. So wait, actually, haha. -ha. So first up over here, you can see I've got a nice little scotch collection, which is quite nice to have while editing and such. And then of course, computer, water bottle, this cactus right here, of course, which was given to me in one of my midwinter boxes. Absolutely brilliant. And then here I have a uh, nice little constellation chart. It is really nice to have as far as, um, you know, knowing what's in the sky. But yeah, that is my desk. Now moving on to this wall, you have this wonderful forest tapestry and that's, that's about it on that wall. And over here, of course, my bed. <laughs> as you can see, it is quite high and I'm like six foot three and it goes up to my hips. So I, I, even I have to kind of like high jump my way into this bed or climb on my office chair to get in. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, it's quite a comfortable mattress. I, I sleep pretty well here for the most part. But other than that, not too much crazy going on. As you can see here is, here's the lovely dog that I was given also in another midwinter box. This, this and the cactus have really, really added to the quality of my room, I, I think. And then this pillow was made by another friend here in Antarctica. 
she uh, is going to be returning, but obviously she didn't need it while she was gone. So rather than putting it in the storage, she gave it to me to use. And then, of course, as you saw in the McMurdo video as well, over here we've got the, you know, the world scratch map surrounded by the different flags that mean the various things. And that's that's kind of it, yeah. Um, underneath, underneath my bed is my other dresser. This dresser has more uh, stuff in it, rather. The most fun one probably being this. Uh, excuse the mess. Obviously, I like to keep a clean room, but um, this drawer is messy, but it's my snack drawer. I'm worried I'm not gonna get through all of it for the rest of the winter. <laughs> and then of course, uh, next, you've got shoes, obviously missing a pair, the pair that I'm wearing. Um, you'll notice the shelf is actually not being utilized, and that is because I kind of like to keep that free in case I wanna watch a movie or something. I can toss my computer there and lay in bed, which is quite nice. And yeah, but here we have some uh, some hoodies and stuff. This is where I hang whatever clean hoodies I have or, you know, long sleeve things that I'm going to be wearing. And then I've got my wardrobe here with all of my clothes hanging up and then gym stuff on top. But yeah, that honestly is kind of it. So the thing is that here at the South Pole, there are actually three different dorm areas. So three different wings that come off the station that all they have is these dorm rooms. Now, believe it or not, this room and the other rooms in this wing of those three are the biggest. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy because frankly, it's not exactly the biggest room that you've probably ever seen. But it's crazy what a difference it makes. Actually, believe it or not, so the difference in size is one of those squares up top. Now, I, actually, you know what? We only use two of those three wings during the winter. One of them is winterized, so it's not necessarily as heated. Um, I can show you what one of those rooms looks like so you can, you can see the difference in size. So yeah, here you go. As you can see, it is significantly smaller. It's only one square, one of these squares smaller, but it makes quite a big difference. So as you can probably understand, the rooms in the A1 wing or the rooms where I'm at are obviously a bit more desirable. Um, most of the people that can, that really care and want a bigger room are able to get one during the winter. The people that don't care as much, they'll get a room about this size. There's obviously less people that want those rooms, which then does mean that there will be fewer people in the area, which, you know, has its benefits for other reasons. But yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of it on this room. Um, let's go back to mine. Ah, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing how much of a difference that like one square or two feet can make in how big a room seems. I mean, it's pretty impressive like how much bigger this room is. But yeah, other than that, there, there isn't really too much else. The only, the only other thing really would be to kind of show you what it looks like. As you know, if you watched any of my other videos that I've filmed specifically in this room or even the McMurdo one, one thing I do really like is the lights. But that is honestly kind of it for the room tour. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what it is like living here at the South Pole, whether you're here in one of these big rooms or one of these smaller rooms in the other two wings. I think it's really nice to be able to not have a roommate. Being able to have your own space, I think, is really key. And it's nice to have a space that you can do whatever you want with, whether it's decorating it like this or doing absolutely nothing with. Being able to go back to some place that is just your own is is really quite nice. But that's uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be a full station tour video eventually. It might even be two or three videos depending on how I do it. 
but that's probably not honestly for a few months because that's a lot of planning and a lot of filming and a lot of stuff that's going to be uh, it's going to take longer than just one week so yeah that is that is something that will be happening though so keep your eyes peeled but otherwise that's it for my room yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you go do all the things that you already know to do. The, the liking, the commenting, the subscribing, the hitting the belling, the sharing. You, you, you know the drill. So, yeah, just do, just do any and all of those things. But, yeah. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week.